we are at our very favorite spot uh it's a really really um lovely park hardly anybody is ever here and the girls and i would come here when they were little when we first moved into our community um so being here reminds me of them being these tiny little people who were fearless and loved playing in the dirt and finding treasures we would um go to the park and we would always bring home either a rock or a stick or both um, and then we had to save them um, so there was no such thing as throwing rocks and sticks away they became the toys and the building blocks of forts and all kinds of things they would do in the backyard the treasures they found I think I like to recall those years because it was possible for them to find joy in what for me personally was a very challenging time um, it was <laughs> it was it was important for us to find those those redemptive moments in the small small things the small everyday things of our lives um, even even if it if the overall picture seemed a little bit dim or difficult. When we moved to Sonoma County, we did so without having jobs, without having a lot of opportunity lined up, um, but with the idea that we were going to um, be okay and that we were going to find a way and make a way for, um, for ourselves. So I don't have the solution for when somebody tells me I want to just throw in the towel I want to I want to I don't know what to do I want to give up um, you know very rarely do people tell me that they want to give up but we we don't usually hear that certainly there are those situations most of the time I think we think it though we just kind of hold that in internally that feeling of like I don't want to do this anymore this is too hard I don't know what to do I feel like giving up it's not popular in our achievement culture to admit that we don't have the answers and that we don't know what to do next and we don't think we're going to make it. That's not something that we say out loud. It's not a popular thing to talk about. It's not a safe thing to talk about. Um, so I think if you feel like um, this year has had you and there's not much left to do and you feel like giving up I don't think you're alone but I really think that truthfully the purpose for what it is for your life is within you and um, I think it's about keep keep going keep doing and the way of being will kind of emerge like a like a spring right it just will bubble forth i think a lot of times we say you have to know your purpose go after your purpose as if you know you know it first and then you go after it and sometimes we we go and we do the things we need to do and we do the things that um that we feel we we feel called to we feel that there's a need and we can meet it and then out of that the the thing reveals itself um and in the midst of going and doing the work we recognize that we're actually being who we are called to meant to be i think a lot of times purpose is sort of shaped it it's within you right um sort of like that that old cliche of a of a metaphor that David was always within that massive piece of rock. Just took Michelangelo chipping away at it to reveal it. It was always there. And so purpose, I think, is like that. It's not, sometimes you know it. Sometimes you just kind of know it and you go for it. And other times you, you go and you do the work that you can do the best you can with what you've got and the being just bubbles forth and reveals itself.
So if you feel like 2020 is sort of like, you know, um, it's okay to say that out loud. And it doesn't mean that we're all going to collectively give up on it. Um, because giving up as humans in the scheme of things, the evolution of humanity, it's not really an option. So today and every day, find the redemptive moments, find the things that point you back to who you really are being and, um, and keep, keep going and keep doing the work and allow the being part to bubble forth. I can't wait for this week. I can't wait to see what else is possible. I personally am in a massive transformative and sort of in between stage. To be honest with you, I don't know that it's going to be transformative. I know that it, I'm hoping that it would be, but I know I'm in the in between right now. So right now, all I can do is go and do the work and be at the being bubble forth. Thank you.